BMW 3 Series. This is going to be how to repair the um, radio power on off knob. So this is the problem. What happened here is this thing works but the knob, you're supposed to be able to push the knob, turn the radio off, but as you can see it's loose, it broke, it broke away from the inside, so now we've got to repair that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Just get yourself some kind of flat screwdriver or a chisel or something like that. Put a bit of black tape around it. That'll prevent scratching the place up. And what you want to do here, you want to get this up and under this here and, and pry this off, of course, without breaking the whole thing up. But you would get this in around here and gradually, easily pluck this off. Now you may have to take like take off this strip over here too maybe but that's okay it all just pops off very easily and you pop it all off a little bit of gentle prying as you can see here this piece just pries off very gently. As you pry this there, you can see here this pin is fairly long, so it's going to take some pulling out. So next thing what you want to do here, you can turn off your car. So you need to take a full up screwdriver. You got one screw there that we undo, and we've got another screw here that we undo. And once that is undone, this thing should just fall right out take this from each side here and just wiggle the thing the thing will come out like that so now we pull so what we're going to do now is we're just going to follow the instructions there it says take your screwdriver and pry off and that's what we're going to do in the back there you've got your antenna connection over there and just undo that so what you do here is you stick your screwdriver on here and pry this up all the way so this little door this little thing comes out like that and then the connector just falls out this one over here you just press and that's off okay that's it stereo's in your hand now we've got to go and take a look at the inside of this thing so let's go in the house now i've never done this before so you're going to watch me try to figure this out there's a screw here there's a screw here there's a screw here i don't know it looks like three screws so i'm just going to take those out to see if this face plate will come off. So I got those little screws out. Never, it's not coming off yet. So it looks like there's a tab there and a tab there, and maybe we can pry it off with those tabs. So I'm going to take a little small screwdriver, see if I can leverage off. Oh, here we go. Something happened. So this looks like it can now wiggle. What about this side? Is there anything on this side that can go back on? Okay, so I just found in this hole right here there's a little thing you can knock out. So I just took the uh, screwdriver and I pushed a little piece of plastic down. I'm going to take this screw out right here and this screw out right here. Maybe that faceplate will come off then. So, let's do that. Okay, those screws are out. Now, there's two more screws on the bottom side here. See one right there? One right there. I'm going to take those out now as well. Okay, I got those screws out, but nothing's really coming apart. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull this knob off. Just pull it straight out. And what you can see here is that you've got this thing and it's loose, right? Because this mechanism in here it probably mounts onto the bulkhead inside here and wherever it mounts on those mounts cracked or screws came out or something so we've got to refasten onto the bulkhead so now we're still working to try to get this whole plastic thing off so okay i just went around this thing and i took out every single screw i could find there were screws along here there was a couple on the on the top side here around the perimeter and there was one on the back and now i'm going to take this shell completely off because I want to see what's inside this thing and how I can gain access to all this stuff. 
So, I guess we just pry it all apart, right? Like, you know, pry this off. All right, so that's off. All right, so we can see what the problem is now. The problem is this. This is loose. It looks like this broke. It cracked away. And this is just flopping around. So we've got to either somehow put another longer screw in that or we've got to glue it or something like that to get it back in place. So you may be able to get access to this by just taking this side up perhaps. I wonder. Take this up and off. There we go. Alright, so that's off. And you can see some heat heat grease. Uh, white like glue there. Don't 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 wipe that off. Leave that on. Because that's your power amplifier there. And that's all got this white grease on it. That helps conduct the heat away from the amplifier and into the metal and the metal can dissipate the heat. So right now we've got full access to this broken tune knob. And it looks like the plastic is after getting broken away there on the tune knob. You can see it's loose, right? So we just want to, I guess, affix that back on in place. And it looks like there's one final screw right here next to this this uh, volume knob. There's a screw in here. I'm going to take this screw out, and I hope the faceplate will just fall off. It's coming loose there now, so I think that's the the, the final screw. That keeps this whole thing together and as I okay so this thing should just come right off now now be careful because you don't want any ribbon cables to be tugged or pulled or whatever if you're going to completely undo it you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to uh, undo the ribbon cables okay we can probably feed this back in through like this and we'll undo that connector now. I'm going to put a screwdriver on there and we're going to pry the volume knob connector off by on, on, the, on the front faceplate board. Just get it off that way. Gradually work it out. There you go. So this, this the button now is off. So that's your knob. And that's the cracked screw thing that we're going to have to somehow fix in a different way. Okay. So the battery went dead in the camera. So while that was charging up, I went to the hardware store. I got some uh, these are 256 type machine screws with a flat head and uh, this one is 3 eighths of an inch long and uh, what we're, what I did then was I took this thing and where this uh, cracked screw hole was what I did was I took the uh, drill with a 1 16th drill bit and drilled a hole straight through here and here and what I plan to do is use the longer screws and screw the uh, screw the uh, this thing back together I also have some 256 nuts. What we're doing here is we're going, this screw is a little too long for one side, but so what we're going to do is we're going to put a nut on and we're going to screw the nut all the way up to the head. So this will effectively make the screw or the bolt, whatever you want to call it, slightly shorter. So I won't have to cut it off. And one screw is already in there. So we put the other screw in the other side and that should keep this thing on pretty darn tight and I think that's pretty good alright so that's how we fix that two 256 machine screws screws that are 3 8 inch long and you can see on one side we put a nut so it would effectively make the, the screw a bit shorter we drilled one six one sixteenth inch drill bit holes through each side that originally had the plastic all cracked. And we drew it all we uh, drilled it all in like that. So now we're gonna put it all back together. 